This audio slide is an accompaniment to the article Comparing Randomized Controlled Trials and Real-World Studies in Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, authored by Dr. Donald Tashkin, Dr. Alpesh Amin, and Dr. Edward Kerwin. The audio slide summarizes the key differences between randomized controlled trials, real-world observational studies, and pragmatic trials, and their applications in COPD research. Broadly speaking, clinical research studies can be either descriptive or analytical. They may be subcategorized based on differences in study methodologies. Descriptive studies include ecological studies, cross-sectional studies, and case reports or case series. Based on whether the treatment is being administered, analytic studies are divided into interventional and non-interventional observational studies. Interventional studies are further subdivided into non-randomized and randomized clinical trials based on whether patients are randomly assigned to treatment. RCTs determine the comparative effects of treatment on various clinical endpoints by following patients who meet specific inclusion criteria and are randomly assigned to either experimental or control treatment for a pre-specified period of time. RCTs provide answers to research questions in the experimental setting, such as, does the study drug, when compared with placebo, significantly increase the forced expiratory volume in one second, or FEV1, in patients 40 years and older with moderate to severe chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, in 12 weeks? Real-world observational studies, or RWEs, include large-scale cross-sectional, cohort, and case control studies that generate clinical evidence about the potential benefits or risks of a treatment derived from analysis of real-world data from a variety of sources. They are often population-based and may be retrospective or prospective in nature. Analyzing if the study drug significantly reduces the risk of exacerbations in patients with COPD in routine clinical practice is a type of RWE research question. Pragmatic clinical trials, or PRCTs, bridge the gap between RCTs and RWEs by using real-world data while retaining randomization. A sample research question for a PRCT can be analyzing whether the study drug, when compared with standard of care, significantly increase FEV1 and reduce the risk of exacerbations in patients 40 years or older with moderate to severe COPD in routine clinical practice. Now that we have understood the types of studies, let's review the advantages and disadvantages of each. RCTs have high adherence due to pre-specified selection criteria, rigorous data collection, and strict monitoring. This results in excellent data quality and internal validity making RCTs the gold standard for evidence on efficacy and safety of an intervention. RCTs are not only useful for clinicians, but also for regulatory authorities during drug approval process. However, such rigorous criteria make RCTs resource and cost-intensive, and the results are rarely generalizable to real-world populations. On the contrary, Real-world studies require less cost, time, and manpower, and generate evidence on patient experience, resource utilization, long-term effectiveness, and rare adverse events in routine clinical practice. Along with clinicians, these are also of value for payers. However, the minimal selection criteria, lack of strict monitoring with longer follow-up times, can raise questions over data quality and credibility of RWEs. Finally, PRCTs retain randomization while capturing data in real-world settings and provide evidence useful for regulatory authorities and payers without being as cost or time-intensive as RCTs. However, as with observational studies, internal validity may be a concern because of dropouts, low adherence, and crossovers. In summary, RCTs, RWEs, and PRCTs complement each other and foretell the impact of interventions on clinically important outcomes as understood with examples of clinical research in COPD. These different types of studies, when taken together, 
help researchers and clinicians make better informed, data-driven decisions and answer the overarching question, does a treatment lead to more benefit than harm in clinical practice?